Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back finishing up. We're going to do one more of these uh, breast cancer awareness jobs. Um, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and switch over to ETS2. I know it never does. I try to mute it and it never does. No matter what I do, if I call my computer, I get no privacy. Um, it's just how it is. I actually disconnected my microphone and muted the mic and the desktop audio, and it still doesn't mute it. So I don't know. It's super annoying, but I can't do anything about it. So, all right. So we're going to go to do, uh, we'll go to Reading. Eh, I want to go somewhere different. I've already been to Reading. Let's can we go north. <laughs> Reading, Reading, and Reading. Eureka? <laughs> it's the same trip. Uh, anything else? Anywhere else more exciting? Nope, and they just end there. Except for San Fran. I'm not going all the way to San Fran. That's too long. That'll make the stream like three and a half hours long. Um, let's see. Well, we might as well just go to Reading then. We'll head back the way we came. Cheapers criminy. It's really the only route around here, so it's going to end up, you know, taking us that way. And then we'll switch over to ETS2, and we'll do one short and one kind of long trip there. So, hey, have a good breakfast. You're just waking up? What? <laughs> All right, your trailer's ready. Proceed to the loading area on your map. Well, is it here? Because I don't see a... Uh... Oh, you saw one to Carson City? Shoot. Oh, well. We took this one already, so... All right, it's not here, so we're probably going to have to go out. Uh, no, this game, there is a truck game called, I think it's just called Truck Driver that's available on console. Uh, but ETS2 and ATS is pretty much PC only. And I think they've said that they're never going to do console. But maybe now that there's competition, they will reconsider. I don't know. It would be cool if they did. And once again, we're going to stay overnight somewhere because... So it still needs work, yeah. I, you know, it's hard. That's the hard thing with the mods. You never know exactly what you're gonna get. Some of them work. Some of them don't. Yeah, that's true. That's why I stream at night because my kids are. Though during these times, I could probably do it during the day, but I can't because I'm busy with work, which is good. All right, we're going this way. The trucker game, uh, I mean, I would read the reviews on it on Steam first. It seems like it's a lot, I don't know, it's not fleshed out all the way. It's good. It looks good, though. People are really enjoying it, but... Um, so we're trying to logging, right. Um, logging on FS19 is not good, even on PC. Um, the logs wiggle out and stuff. They're just there for the physics are frustrating at best. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not on console. Like I said, maybe someday, but they've really pretty much been like, no, it will not be on console ever, and um, it's never coming to console, so. Uh-oh. Yeah, we gotta, gotta go to the greens. All right, over on our left here somewhere. Is it? There it is. Okay, there's the pink. It's actually really not pink. It's more like burgundy. Okay, so it's a great alternative if... Uh, hey, well, by the way, hey, hey, Turtle Chef, how's it going? Um, so truck driver... Yeah, so if people have ATS or ETS2 on PC, but... For people that just have no other options. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I'm not even close. Can I get her in on this side? The new flight sim is coming out next year. Yeah, I was watching. Oh, was it? Oh, crap. What, what did I hit? What? Is there something here? What did I hit? I was, oh, maybe you just can't go into this parking lot. I was going to turn around here, but nope. It's a wall. Great. Okay, well. 
Uh, I think it was Gray still plays. It was showing footage, you know, doing the, I don't have the game, but here's some footage of it thing, and I watched that a little bit. Um, it looks gorgeous. RuneScape. <laughs> Yeah, that's true too. Oh, Red Alpha, they have all kinds of things that they uh, have the, all kinds of hoops they got to jump through. You said, and Timmy. Hey, hey, what's going on, Ben Pin? Viking Timmy Bin Bin. It's the crew. We are picking up a trailer and we're going to take it a short distance to what? Where were we going? Was it Redding? Somewhere, somewhere in California down the freeway and then we're going to run over to Euro Euro truck and do our final job and uh, yeah all in all it's just a uh, another truck in the wall that doesn't make sense but except for the wall there yeah <laughs> I guess it does make sense now <laughs> all right so off we go how are we doing on gas we have half tank is that right that looks like it's yeah Farming and watching me drive. I know you're ready for the custom mod, the John Deere sprayer. Yeah, that looks really good. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, good, Turtle Chief. I hope you're enjoying it. You're taking malt to Sam Adams and Latrobe. Oh, cool. Man, you are all over the place, Timmy. That's funny. Like, so a whole, a whole tanker full of... Hey, see if you can hook up with Timmy, because <laughs> he's got a truck full of beer. <laughs> That's right. It's like the song from Pink Floyd. All in all, you're just a, another truck in the wall. That's a video from Tomcat, but he's where you get all your spin tire news. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. Spin tires had a new DLC come out. Um, I'm going to have to take a look at it. Like the old spin tires, not Mud Runner, but the original spin tires actually just had a DLC come out. So, Oh, you jerk. What a jerk. Yeah, I will get Snow Runner. When does it release? Gosh, all these games are coming out. I'm going to be broke. It's going to cost me hundreds of dollars to get all these games. Dang it. I know. I don't know. It's the middle of the night. Look out. I'm, Dude, seriously. If I bash your little brown car on accident, I'm sorry, but not really. Wow. Had to horn my way out of that one. Shoehorn my truck in there. All right, we're going to spend the night here at this next stop. Once again, it's an external contract, so it doesn't matter. It's an actual timing to get there. Watch for low bridges. Oh, that's funny, Tim <laughs> Turtle. I think this is where I'm supposed to rest. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. It's called the end of the year Steam sale. Right, exactly. That's what I'm going to wait for. You posted in Discord? Okay, cool. And this is not the sleep spot, ironically. Okay, so we got to go across the street, I guess. Great. Yeah, canyons, yep. Six by six. Yep, 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 yep. Now they, so are we, is it really different developers or same developer for those, or are they different developers? Because, as you know, they used to be separate developers. Um, like, it was one guy that did the first game, and then they bought it out. And yeah, there we go. So we're going to get some gas. Then the rest stop is right up there where those trucks are parked. So we'll stop for the night. Ta-da! 
Yeah, the original spin tires is pretty difficult. Did I go? I sh oh, I overshot it. What? Oh, I stalled. Batten zero. Wait a minute. Is there? Did, wasn't there a gas thing here? Or was that my imagination? Oh. Yeah, that's right. The whole game crash issue. Right. Yep. Oh, the gas is. The oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't tell anybody about that, please. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way, and hello, Mr. Montgomery. That's right, the game, uh, quote-unquote, refused to work. No diesel there. Yeah, the diesel's right here, so we'll fill up and park the truck there. And we'll get some gas. Yep, wrong area. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> time to clip that. Thanks. That's right, Red. That's I know. I agree. That's why I did it too, man. Do I have a button box or side panel? Yes, I do. I'm actually using a Logitech G13, vintage at this point. <laughs> yeah, well, Fear's gonna clip it, so I'm doomed. <laughs> Your best Schultz voice. <laughs> so, yeah, I just use a little Logitech G13. It's got my head reset and some other buttons on there. But most of the buttons I have are on my steering wheel. So, like my parking brake, my engine turn off, and the button to sleep. Yep, this is the 9800 cab over. Um, nice truck, actually. It's not bad. And I need to turn them off. And... Did it have me turn? I'm so lost right now. Yeah, but so it's the international cab over. It's a great truck. Uh, what? You're telling me a G13 is three hundred dollars? Mine's broken, or I'd sell it. Good lord. $300? Well, Lieutenant, we did Farm Sim 15 last night. Uh, I did Farm Sim 19 on Monday. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow night. I haven't decided yet, but uh, on Friday we'll be doing the, the Farm Sim multiplayer, so we'll have that. And we'll also be looking at the class, the class pack. Um, we'll do it once before the multiplayer and once after. So... Yeah, three hundred dollars. What? Oh, sure. Yeah, you definitely can. Wow. I mean, I paid. I think I got mine. It was new. I had, this is the second one I've owned too. The first one broke, uh, and I think it was like fifty bucks or forty-five bucks. Why are they going for three hundred dollars? I guess because people want them now. Nobody makes them anymore. Yep, that's it. Wow, that's crazy. That's that expensive. <laughs> Doesn't uh, don't doesn't Razor make them anymore? They don't make their little side panels, like the I forget the Atlas or whatever it's called. I mean, they should still make them because uh, I'm surprised they. Wow, that's really interesting. I guess they just didn't take off. But uh, I know that um, Razor had a whole bunch of different ones that you could buy. They had like a nine a nine button one, and then like a twenty button one, and they charged you lots of money for all of them. Need to get shifted down. Razor still makes them okay. The Razor ones are expensive though, but I like the G13 because it's got the LED, so you can tell when it's on or not. And then it's also got you know it's very easy to program the keys. But what's up, Frost Patch? How you doing? issue with the MMO pads is no one makes good MMOs anymore. Yeah, everybody's still making MMOs. I mean, come on. You got, you know, Fallout 76 and <laughs> what's the other one? Uh, what's that space one? Uh, the uh, 
the one that flopped. No Man's Sky. Uh, we are in this very, very southern part of Oregon, and I'm heading south to Redding, California. So, And then I'm going to be switching over to European Truck Simulator for the next trip. And um, we'll be going through uh, wherever they take us. That's okay. <laughs> What's up, Miss Q? Oh, oh, Miss QMG. <laughs> oh, Miss Q. I'm going to have to unravel that one. Uh oh. Miska MG. How's it going, man? No Man's Sky is making a comeback. Yes, it is. It actually, yeah, it looks like a pretty, pretty decent content, actually, now. I might play it again. There's so many games out there that I want to play. Let's see, Fallout 76, which is a massive failure. I know, I know, it's horrible. Okay, we're clear. We don't have to stop this time. Thank goodness. Oh, it's really? you get For using a razor, you get cheating? What? That's crazy. Ark and Atlas. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's see, Noah. Mm. You watched the FS19 streams. Okay. Well, hey, how's it going, Noah? I don't necessarily remember, but did you change your name, maybe? The, there we go. The, tar the, the Tartarus. Yep. 70 bucks. That's crazy. And the Tartarus is good, so. Hey, Gaudi, How's it going? Well, Frostpatch, you better put it up on eBay if you still got it, because apparently they're going for 300 bucks on eBay. So, Now, if they're asking 300 bucks on eBay, that's different than selling at $300. We have to find out what they're actually selling for. But no, Oh, okay, yep, now I remember. Yep, if I see all the numbers behind it, I do. I remember. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, Lieutenant Boger. I got my experience from Farm Sim. They're like, what? <laughs> ah, PlayStation Gamer Tag, okay. I'm realizing I still have to go to Walmart tonight because the garbage is tomorrow and I don't have any garbage bags. <laughs> Shoot. Full custom dash. There you go. <laughs> I would love to have like a, a whole setup with the but. But you know what? With the kids and with having to play other game, like I play other games too. So um, it seems like that would just not be a good idea to totally deck it out for uh, ATS because an ETS because then I'd, I'd be stuck with that setup. And, and whoa, broken car. Yep, I'm taking out the garbage tonight, and it's freaking raining out there. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Sorry. Oh, I must have hit I hit somebody. Dang it. Couldn't do anything about that. That guy way slowed down. There you go, TK. No. Nope. Don't buy the trailer. I hate to say it because it's cool to simulate like you're owning a company and owning trailers, but if I'm honest with you... It's a letdown. The trailer ownership is not great. Um, you can make more money per load, but the problem is you only have like five loads that are optional that are available to you, so you miss out on some of these like fragile loads, like the cars, um, like some of the hazmat loads you're not allowed to carry. So you just you, it limits you to only you get high. Let's say let's say I've got to take crates from one place to another. I'm going to make more if I put them in my own trailer, but I'm still going to make way more if I just carry a hazardous load. So you're you're better off just skipping the trailers. Now, if you want to buy them for your workers, they probably make more money. But for yourself, it's not worth it. 
Uh, Gaudi, my family's doing great. My kids are at their mom's. They're coming home. Uh, one of them's coming home tomorrow night, and the rest are coming home on Friday. They've really been here every weekend. You know, my ex-wife was like, I'm going to take them every weekend. or for, I'm going to take them, like, you're only going to have them every other weekend. And I'm like, uh, okay, I mean, I guess I'm okay with that, but I'll miss them a lot, you know. But she's pretty much been dropping them off every weekend, so I'm glad because I get to spend time with them, and, you know, it's been good, so. <laughs> so, but thank you for asking. Yeah, the truck driver games are awesome. Yeah, like I said, if you want to buy them for your your company and like give them to your truckers and have the have cool trailers, it's cool. But all you do, frost patches, you buy them and they sit in the garage and you don't have to do anything. If you lock them or set them to yourself, then they won't be able to use them. But if you just buy the trailer and leave it in the garage, they'll start using them. So. If you buy a trailer, just put it in the garage, and your your workers will end up, um, you know, going to town with those trailers, and they'll start using them and, and you know, making money with them. Okay, so 300 new. Okay, all right. Yep, nope. They don't. The, the, the workers will just grab them. You can assign it to yourself, then they'll leave them. So you... If you lock the trailer, no one else will take it. But if you if you um, just park it at the garage, they'll start using them. So very easy to do. Yep. Nope. You don't even have to select who gets the trailer. They just do it automatically. <laughs> now I don't know if I I don't know. Maybe you can um, time to up it. Yeah. Uh, maybe possibly you can assign to people specifically, but I'm pretty sure that, and I've done it before. They just grab it because I've got trailers in the other in the other in uh, Euro truck, and they just grab the trailers. I don't have to tell them what to do; they just grab it. So, yeah, they don't match them up right. No, that's correct. <laughs> They'll just grab whatever trailer is available, so you might as well not. Unless you you should paint all your trucks the same, then and then you're then you're safe. Ah, thank you, Binpin. Seriously, thank you, man. Uh, it is supposed to help them from doing the, the no-load return, but they can return with no load and, and have no job, so it does. Um, but it can it can help, yes. Me too, Montgomery. They're great games. So we're going to go to Euro Truck next. Uh, so we're going to take a look like a 30-second uh, ad break. And... Uh, Man, I need to get those gears up. Hey, what's up, Pyro Knuckle? All right, so we're moving along. Hanging a left here, and this will be, we have one more job to do, and then we'll switch over to the Pro Mods profile. And I got a job to finish up there also. It's an RPG. I thought Destiny was supposed to be an MMO, but Jaywa is showing off all of his emotes. Yeah, I I watched my friend play it and I was like, "Man, this looks boring as boop." <laughs> and I never did. That's a good idea actually, Jaywa. Yep, I love ETS and ATS both. Fallowich. Oh, yeah, Red Alpha. <laughs> Did he find some, the silage bales of that MMO? Like the cheat? All right. And we're going to put this in reverse. Should be no issues here backing it up. And I'm right away having issues. I overshot it already. Yeah, maybe not. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. There we go. 
One of the things that's still hard is, is oh, what did I do that for? Whoa. Oh, that's why I was having so much trouble. Indian River. I recommend Indian River. <laughs> for obvious reasons. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna stop the truck, and I'm gonna turn that off. We're gonna tee it. There we go. <laughs> you guys are going crazy in the comments there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube and Twitch, hopefully you enjoyed this game. I'm gonna switch over to ETS2 now. But uh, we spent an hour playing America Truck Simulator, and that was fun. So we're going to spend the next hour in ETS2. And we will be back in just one moment.